I have another budget flashlight I want to share with you today. This time it's from a brand I've not heard of before, XTAR. So this is the XTAR R30 1200. If you're interested in hearing more about this light, keep watching. All right, just before we begin, I would like to thank XTAR for reaching out to me and offering to send this light to me so that I could share it with you. So as always, we'll go down to the tabletop. I'll go over the key features for this light. I'll go over the physical and performance specifications and its modes of operation. Then of course, we'll do some testing. Just before we take a closer look at the R30-1200 from XTAR, I'll share with you what else it came with. This is the box the light arrived in, inside of the box. There is a manual and warranty information, USB Type-C charging cable, a little Ziploc bag containing a lanyard and a pair of spare O-rings, and of course the light did come equipped with its battery, which is a 4900 milliamp hour 21700 lithium ion rechargeable battery. Now, as far as key features go for this light, there's one unique one that stands out, and that's the fact that this light can be used as a power bank for recharging other devices such as your cell phone. So the way to do that is it all operates through the USB Type-C charging port. So this acts not only as the port for the input charge, but also the port for the outgoing charge to your cell phone or whatever whatever else uh, you want to charge with it. However, to do that though, you're going to need one of the USB Type-C fast charge cables, the one that looks like a USB uh, a connection on both ends, and that did not come with this light. All right, let's go over the physical specifications for this light. So the overall length is 6.23 inches, which is 158.2 millimeters. The diameter at its widest is 1.41 inches, which is 38 or 36, excuse me, millimeters. And the weight with the battery is 7.7 .7 ounces, 219 grams. And of course, I'll put all of this information in the video description below. As far as performance specifications go, the highest level on this is turbo, and that comes in at 1200 lumens, which will last for 2.6 hours. The high is 650 lumens, which will last for 3.4 hours. Medium is 300 lumens, lasting for 9.1 hours. And low is 30 lumens, lasting for 70 hours. There is a strobe on this light, which is 650 lumens. It doesn't give the rated time for that. The beam cast is 226 millimeter or 200, 226 meters. It does have an impact resistance of 1.2 meter drop and a waterproof rating of IPX6. Now, of interest here is two things. One is that neither the turbo nor the high have a drop down. So when it says 2.6 hours for turbo, that's a straight run of 1200 lumens for that period of time. Same thing for high. The other thing to note is that there is no moonlight or any very low light. The lowest light setting is 30 lumens on this light. All right, just before we go into the operation of the R30-1200, I thought I'd give you a few close-ups, talk about some of its features on the body of the light. So there is the on-off switch, obviously, and right directly opposite is the USB charging port. Now, what I like about this setup is how easy it is to find in the dark. So it's very easy to index where the switch is on this light without having to be able to look at it. There is nice knurling on the body of the light. You can see where the lanyard would attach. There's two attachment points there. And at the other end, the, the uh, reflector itself, as you can see, is polished and quite deep. So that's what gives it the nice beam cast that it has. All right, let's go into the operation. So the operation of this light is different than any other light that I have used before. So it starts off pretty easy. You give this a quick tap and the light will come on in low every time. Tap it again, medium, high, and turbo. And if you ta keep tapping, it just cycles through low, medium, high, and turbo. Now, I want to point this out. If at any time you long press the light over one second long, it, the light will turn off and it engages the memory. If you long press it again, it, the light will come back on and whatever that setting was, in this case, it is high. However, to turn the light off, don't just press it and expect it to turn off because you're going to cycle through like you did before. To turn the light off, you have to long press. So you have to long press to turn it off at any time. You have to long press 
press to activate the memory for the last use setting. Otherwise, the quick press is going to just bring it back to low, medium, high, and turbo. So that's a little bit different. Now, as far as the strobe goes, you can double press, or yes, double press the light either while it's on or off. And if you were double press again, it goes back to the regular cycle. If you triple press the light, it goes into SOS. Easy enough to use. And hold long press and you can turn the light off. So as far as charging the R3200 up, when you plug the USB Type-C cable in, the light inside of the on-off switch will turn red and it will remain red until the battery is fully charged, at which point it will turn green. Now, as far as battery status indicator, anywhere between 25% and 100% of strength, the light will be green when it's in operation, as you saw a minute ago. If your light is red while the light is on, uh, then it's between 18 and 24 percent, and if it's flashing red, it's below 18 percent. And as I mentioned before, you can use this as a battery bank to charge other devices, but you do have to have the double-ended USB Type-C charging cable. All right, having gone over the physical and performance specifications for this light, as well as its modes of operation, there's really only one thing left to do, and that is to get outside and do some testing. Doing some nighttime testing of the XSTAR R3200. So I'm set up in my backyard, and I'm going to start with uh, the flashlight on low, and I have the camera aimed at a garage about 70, maybe 80 feet away. So we'll turn the flashlight on low. Now, there's the edge of my house, the neighbor's house, and the garage is the third house up. You can just see it barely on camera. It's starting to illuminate. Let's take it up to medium. Much better, of course, and if we take it up all the way, does a good job of illuminate it and you can see there's a central hot spot but lots of flood to either side. All right I think we can wrap this video up with a few closing thoughts for the XTAR R30 1200 rechargeable flashlight. So right off the top what do I like about this? Well the very first thing is how easy it is to find the on off button without having to look at the light and I'm starting to take more and more notice of that with flashlights and that some of them because the button is flush to the barrel of the light it can be a little hard to find it as you rotate it in your hand and look for the button. Not so this one the button stands out and in addition to that just the shape of the barrel makes it easy to find the button. So that's probably one of the key features I like most. The other thing I like about it is the fact that you do not have to double tap to access turbo. It is just one of the series of lumen settings that you reach at the top without having to double tap. The other thing is that there is no step down in terms of lumen settings. In other words, when you go to 1200 lumens on turbo, it is at 1200 lumens the entire time without stepping down to a, a lower lumen setting. All right, what do I not like about it? Well, I think one of the things that is less attractive about this is the fact that there is no firefly or moonlight mode or whatever else you want to call it something in the one to five lumen range the lowest setting here is 30 lumens now that's not that bad it's just that if you're trying to use this inside of a tent even 30 lumens can be a little brighter than you want it to be without having without it uh, causing your night vision to be lost the other thing that is a little bit frustrating at least until you learn how to use it is the fact that a simple press the button will not turn it on into the high mode it'll just turn it on into the low mode force you to go through each of the lumen settings until you reach high or turbo whereas if you long press the button it'll come on in turbo right away same thing on the other end when you go to turn the light off if you just press the button quickly like you would with other lights it just wants to cycle through low medium high and turbo again to turn the light off, you have to long press. When I say long press, it's well over a second in length. Now, I know that doesn't seem long, but when you're used to the operating system of other lights where you just press it and turn it on, press it, turn it off, this is just a bit of a learning curve, learning how to use it. However, once you do, then you don't mind it. You don't, you don't really even notice it anymore. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, I'll put all the information I have for this light in the video description below, including the links to where you can purchase this and a discount code where you can save some money off the purchase of this light if you're interested. All right, that's all I have for you today. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comments section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.